Hi there. I want to show you how to do a band workout. And these are the bands that are like tubular. They usually come like four or five in a set. The different colors represent the different weight. So the red is the 10 and the blue is a 20. And then I have the 30 is green, but I also have one of these. It's gonna, I'm listening to me because I'm gonna have a hard time. I can't demonstrate it, but I'm gonna tell you what to do with this. You're gonna take this apparatus and you can see that it's got a hole through it, right? Okay. This part of the item goes on the other side of your door. You can do it. If you want to do like triceps, push downs, or chest cable crossovers, you would you would put this part on the other side and then string your bands through this. You can also do like rotator cuff and so that you would have this on the side, the side of the door. And then if you want to do a bicep curl or a row. You can put this at the bot very bottom, and you just string your weights through here, and you have an instant machine. It's kind of cool. It works very well, actually. I don't, uh, I can't really show you that, but I'm going to show you a couple things with these bands and what I'm going to do with them. This right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a, a, pull down a uh, bar so watch this <clears throat> and I'm going to flip this right around I'm short so don't mind me so I'm doing the same thing but I'm attaching this to a I have a chin up bar you can also take this and if you have like a pole in the basement you can go ahead and you can wrap it around and you'll get the same effect. So this here, it'll work on either, either whether they're that fixture on a pole or on a beam in the basement. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get a workout in. I'm going to only do like um, one set of everything and what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna repeat this three times. So, here I am, I'm going to press and stretch. I want to get that tension. If it's too easy, either come up further or grab higher. Push. This is the chest press right here. Push and contract. Inhale. Contract, keep the shoulders down, keep that tension on there. And then as you're coming in, you're going to squeeze, keep the shoulders drop, pull in your core. You're going to cinch in your stomach. Push. Inhale. It's a lot. I mean, this is a great way to get a workout. The thing is, you can do this on vacation. Take your kit with you. Abs are tight. That's your chest press. Now you have a cable. I want you're going to do a fly crossover. So again, you're going to have you can hang on to the handles. If there's not enough tension, you just come out further. And this way, so you can see, just like this. So <clears throat> I'm going to cross over, cross over, pull. Cross over, cross over. You can do this as a warm up. This is the way I would do it. So I'm going to do that same thing, You're more like a cable if you're on a cable machine. And what you're going to do is this. You're going to cross over and then you're going to open it up. Keep that tension. 
Shoulders down, pull your core in, squeeze. Think about it. Open it up, right? And really think about pushing your chest butt together. Open it up. I'm straight. Open. Three sets just like that. So I'm going to take this same position and we're going to go right into a row. So I'm in the upper position. So on the door, you'll keep it up there on the door. I want to actually get more tension and I want to be in sight so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do a row. So I'm pulling in my core. I'm going to pull back and squeeze. And stretch. Drop your shoulders. Don't. You're going to feel a little bit of stretch. And you're going to pull in. And from this motion here, you're going to lock out your arms. Squeeze. So we're getting two movements, actually three and one. My hands are locked and working the back of the arm. I'm going to stretch up. Pull in. Squeeze. Push down. Stretch. Pull that, elbows to my side, straight down, squeeze, and stretch. Pull, think, abs in, five, down. Stretch. Pull in, down, straight down, and then stretch. Pull in, keep the elbows in, chest popped, some again, down, and stretch. Five more just like that. Pull in, contract, down, pull in, contract, down, straighten those arms up, pull in, down, straight down, knuckles have to be facing and extended. Pull in. Deep, hold, down, last one, pull it in, squeeze, down, and up. This really does, now we're going to go right into the rear delts, and the rear delts are a very weak area. This is called the face pull. I know it looks like a row, but it is for the back of the shoulder, and it you should be doing this two to three times a week you can add it to a back workout or a shoulder workout so where I try to bring it in. So here I am still on the upper part of the door. So on this you want to grab it. Actually just about like this. So now you want to bring that band. It's a face pull so you're going to pull it to your nose. And then take your thumbs out and squeeze that. It hits that rear delt, but it also hits the whole back strap of your back. And then you're stretching. Feel the stretch. You're going to pull out. And you're going to towards your face. Why they call it face pull. Take your thumbs facing the back of the room and hold. Like if you're looking like a field goal. And stretch. Pull in, thumbs back, hold, release. Pull in, thumbs back, and then release. Pull in, pull back, squeeze, and release. Think. Pull in, face right there, push out. Remember what you're doing. Squeeze, keep your abs pulled in, and stretch. Pull it in. Towards your face, out with the thumbs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, four more. Up, and squeeze, and then release. Pull in, thumbs out, and release. Right towards your face, your nose, 
and then really pull it up, thumbs back, two more, think, pull it in, back, and one, think, pull it in, thumbs back, squeeze, and release. You probably want to do, it'd be great to do about three sets, if not four. These are really a must. Now I have it at the upper part of the door or upper part of the, the I have mine on that pull down chin up bar. I'm gonna take my shoulders to keep them stable. Right here, I'm gonna push down all the way, lock in. Right here. Push down, but you have to fit, take your fist all the way down. Right here, constant tension. Push down. And release. Push down. Squeeze. Push down, thumb down. Make sure your knuckles are facing the floor. Stretch. Constant tension. Push. Push down. Back the arms. Push down. Three sets of 15. Hold. Push down. Right there, constant tension. Three. Two. And one. These are really great. And you can do the same thing. So you want to take, either you can take it off of the door all the way, or I'm going to show you what to do. So I'm just going to take it, you're going to hook it up to your door, underneath the door, or just like this. Put your foot on. I want more tension, so, and I want to keep my and align and pull my stomach in and I'm going to come up and squeeze. Slow, constant tension, elbows cords right digging into your side. Remember, one set really, if you want results, well, you want to do three. And just concentrate on your form, pull your stomach up. number eight so what you do is just switch switch feet or just go ahead and do on your second set and just change feet just like this squeeze you want to pull equal think Doubles in, squeeze it. Fight it down. There's your biceps. I mean, this is really super cool. Now we're gonna go right into, this is one full workout, okay? We're gonna go right into core. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna attach this. You're gonna bring this down, that, that piece down a little lower, and then I'm just gonna go, you're gonna see what I'm doing. I'm just taking it to the pole right there. Okay. I'm just hooking it up. Like I said, if you have the, a door, that's fine. That's what you wanna use. So, I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to come down, I'm going to put my feet, you can put your feet on the door. We're still hitting that, we're hitting the back a little bit different. Several sections of the back. Feet here, you want to pull your stomach in, you're going to squeeze, pull your elbows in, this is a row. Down and just come down slightly, pull in, vertebrae by vertebrae, excellent. Come up, pull. 
squeeze your shoulder blades, bring it down, vertebrae by vertebrae. You're gonna cinch in and blow out and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take it down slow, pull in and blow out as you come up. Pulling in, cinching your stomach up. Pull in, cinch, squeeze, vertebrae, 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 pull it in, vertebrae by vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae, think, and pull in, blow out when you come up, vertebrae by vertebrae, keep your abs tight. Pull in, blow out. Two more. Hold. One more for the row. There's going to be three sets of these. It's really pretty awesome. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to drop this, and we're going to do some floor work. So what we're going to do, okay, I want you to learn how to, um, I'm going to take myself out. Okay. Okay, this here, you always want to push your back flat. Okay, this is a big deal. You have to blow out, excel all your air and cinch in at the same time. People don't always do that, and what they do, they don't breathe right, so guess what? They're blowing that lining. They really are, they're expanding it. And it's, you know, it, the, this is a problem. This is a big problem. So this is where you want to be. Back is flat, hands behind your head. You're gonna blow out, it's a little distance, and then pull in, just like that. Scoot your butt, take it down. Lift up, blow out. Cinch it at the same time. And down. Lift up, push your back flat, blow out, exhale all the air out of that stomach so your abs can contract and then cinch in and squeeze your glutes. Think about it. Lift up, blow out, cinch in. And down. Bring it up, blow out, push that back flat, cinch in. And down. Think. Lift up, blow out, cinch in. So I'm cinching in, I'm squeezing my butt. Lift up, blow out, cinch in. Lift up, blow out, cinch in. You can actually put your hands on your stomach, look up. You don't have to come up that far. Blow out, pull in. Lift up, blow out, pull in. Think about it. Lift up, blow out, pull in. Take your time. Lift up, blow out, pull in. Keeping your back flat, you can just go ahead if you want to work your obliques, which is, you want to actually, you want to work the size of your obliques. They're different areas, so we're doing different top up, and then we're going to go bottom up in more, more of my series, and then side to side. Before we do that, I just want you to take your legs, blow out, and let them fall to the left. Then to the right. Take your right leg over your left and push your back to that. You're going to feel a stretch in the hip. And if you can, grab your shin, push your back flat and lift up and just stretch. Inhale. 
and then you're going to blow up. Lift up, blow out. And switch. Just like this. Grab the shin. You want to lift up, blow the air out. You're going to feel it in the uh, this same size hip. Inhale. Lift up, blow out, pull in. Inhale, I'm going to blow out now, cinch in, and you can do abs just like this, leg straight. All I'm going to do is push my back flat, and I'm going to think about blowing out the air, and then pull, and cinching in. So I'm going to blow out and cinch in, it's kind of like this, blow out, cinch in. Release. Blow out, cinch in. Think about it. Blow out, cinch in. You'll feel this. Inhale, blow out, cinch in. 15 to 20 of these, three sets. Right into another stretch. My leg is just kind of like this. I'm going into that hip again. I got that one leg back. And I'm just going to do, come over that knee. No, don't, don't arch your back and do any of this. Just bend at the hips. Another thing is you've got to drink water. If you're doing this kind of stuff, Water, and not just a little water. You got to start your water water regimen before you even start your workout. It's like a flotation device, and it stretches. If your muscles are dehydrated, they're flat and they'll stick. It's like number one rule, and it's good too for weight loss and hydration. It's very important. Coffee and tea help you get dehydrated. They're not water, so it's got to be straight. Water, no seltzer. Water is water. Just like this, switching legs. Just slightly move forward. This is great when you're going on vacation or if you want to work out. I have a lot of people I train with and they go on vacation. I go on vacation and it's like I give this tool to them so that they can be active without me. They don't have to miss any workouts. So I will be doing another video or so. Stay tuned for some more workouts with bands and free weights. This is one complete workout. Three sets of every single one of these exercises. Keep your stomach pulled in. Remember, always blow out on the tough part and cinch in. Keep your abs pulled in at all times and your glutes tight. And I will see you later. <clears throat> and this.